This court first finds that the Commonwealth has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the actions taken by Ms. Carter as to the period from June 30th to July 12th constituted wanton and reckless conduct by her in disregard and serious disregard of the well-being of Mr. Gore. The Commonwealth has not proven as to that time period that said reckless or wanton behavior caused the death of Mr. Roy. It is apparent to this court in a reviewing the evidence that Mr. Roy was struggling with his issues and seeing a way to address them and took significant actions of his own toward that end. His research was extensive. He spoke of it continually. He secured the generator. He secured the water pump. He researched how to fix the generator. He located his vehicle in an unnoticeable area and commenced his attempt by starting the pump. When Ms. Carter realizes that Mr. Roy has exited the truck, she instructs him to get back into the truck, which she has reason to know is or is becoming a toxic environment inconsistent with human life. She is mindful that the process in the truck will take approximately 15 minutes. This court finds that instructing Mr. Roy to get back in the truck constituted willful and reckless, I'm sorry, wanton and reckless conduct by Ms. Carter, creating a situation where there is a high degree of likelihood that substantial harm would result to Mr. Roy. Ms. Carter knows through her own admission that Mr. Roy has followed her instruction. As she indicates in various text messages subsequently created to some of her friends, she indicates that she can hear him coughing and she can hear the loud noise of the motor. Consequently, this court has found that the Commonwealth has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that Ms. Carter's actions and also her failure to act where she had a self-created duty to Mr. Roy, since she had put him into that toxic environment, constituted each and all wanton and reckless conduct. And this court further finds that the Commonwealth has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that said conduct caused the death of Mr. Roy. Having reviewed the evidence and applied the law thereto, now finds you guilty on the indictment charging you with the involuntary manslaughter of the person Conrad Roy III. This court further finds that the Commonwealth has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that you are a youthful offender and you are a judge show at this time. You may be seated. That verdict is now recorded and it is in writing as well.